Hey guys, just wanted to answer some YouTube questions while I got a minute here. Let's go open my YouTube and take a look what we got. I got a message from Mega Man Sam 1997 about Prusa kit files. Prusa is the model of the machine I've been printing recently, so let's have, see what he's got. It. I was wondering if you can direct me to where you obtain the STL files or the other files you use to print for the Prusa kits. Yeah, no problem, Mega Man Sam 1997. You can get them from Thingiverse. Uh, just search Prusa, P-R-U-S-A, and you will find any files you want. They're also hosted on Joseph Prusa's GitHub, G-I-T-H-U-B. Uh, you can find them on his GitHub or reprap.org. You can find all the files you've ever wanted to see on any printer on either Thingiverse first, and then you want to go check reprap, and then sometimes developers will have them separately on their own GitHub. I have a question from Overtaken about low-cost 3D printers. I found a few kits that cost only $350 with all the electronics and hardware together. How much did I spend on my kits? And he also wonders what driver board do I use and what controllers do I use to operate the motors. Uh, okay, Overtaken. Well, I wouldn't really go with a $350 printer unless it's like a half-assed printer quite honestly you can build a 3d printer on your own for about four hundred five hundred dollars but three hundred fifty dollars you're probably gonna get scammed out so I would be cautious just because the electronics themselves cost around two hundred dollars and then you have to throw in four or five motors extruder head it, it can get expensive but three hundred fifty dollars sounds a little too low this early in the game for a full for a full kit uh, how much did I spend on my kits? Well, my M Maker Gear Mosaic cost me $1,200 assembled. My Prusa I built from scratch, and I probably have $1,000 in that because I kept screwing it up, as you can see in the rest of my videos. And my make my Mendel from Bot Mill cost me $1,300, and I never got it assembled because number one, Bot Mill sent me acrylic cast parts instead of 3D printed parts. And they sent, finally sent me good parts from that were actually from Ecker Tech in Canada. No, no relation. And then uh, I kind of just shelved it because I started working on the Prusa. So Bot Mill sucked. Uh, Maker Gear's been good to me, and I built a I built a uh, Maker Gear Mendel, which cost me. Let's see, it didn't cost me anything. I built it for the guy on the Kickstarter. It cost him a thousand, but it cost me like nine hundred. So you can get a good kit for about 900. Uh, printer bots prices are coming down, uh, depending on your level of use. You can go get a printer bot, or if you want something much more sturdy that you're going to use for commercial purposes, you're going to want to go with like a solid frame machine. What boards do I use? I initially started using the Gen 6 board that shipped with my my uh, Mendel from Botmail, and then it kind of just it started getting weird on me, so I had to I switch over to the ramps with the Arduino Mega, Arduino Mega 2560, I believe it is, and that's what I use to operate the motors. All right, here's another one from Primus1213, and he says, "Yo, I've been watching videos, and I really want to get a 3D printer, but I can't afford one. It costs so much money. Is there a better way to get one? No, unfortunately, you're probably going to have to buy something." If you're gonna buy, if you're gonna go rep wrap, you're gonna have to buy at least the parts from somebody, and the electronics and the motors from somewhere. The cheapest you can probably get is maybe $400. Uh, for $400, you can go over to PrinterBot and buy their PrinterBot Junior. I'm looking into that one, and it looks like a pretty decent machine. I haven't seen any prints off of it yet, but that would be the absolute lowest level you probably want to go is a PrinterBot Junior. For a couple hundred dollars more, you can get a printer bot, and then a printer bot plus, laser cut, blah blah blah. Maker Gear is kind of on the upper end, and they're starting to increase the quality of their machines. So it's going to be about twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars for a really good machine from MakerBot. Uh, you can always go on eBay and find a Prusa. I'm sure there's Prusas and Mendels out there. So if you want to go out there and check that out, I'm sure you'll find something. Uh, he also asks, are the printers good enough to print out model kits or Gundam Armored Core? Uh, if you don't, so you don't have to cut the pieces off of them and, put, and create a, a great replica model. I imagine you could make some really good Gundams. Everything will need some finishing. Uh, you'll see threads on the sides, layers, but some people don't mind that. Uh, ABS can be f smoothed out with acetone. So if you want to get acetone and smooth parts out and spray them down, 
I don't know how much more work that is than just going and buying a kit for your hobby, but it should be about the same. <laughs> Uh, this one comes from Charlie the Animator. He says, Hi John, I've seen your videos and where you're making rep wrap parts. Can you tell me where you sell them and how much they cost and what is included? I would like to create a 3D printer as to make parts for my upcoming senior design project next fall. Thank you, Austin. Thanks, Austin, but uh, I do not currently sell any more kits. I've sold all my kits to my backers, and one or two here just kind of paying for fil filament, you know, just like giving someone a ride to pay for gas. That's about it. But uh, when I get back, I will start selling print printer kits again, but who knows what's going to happen in a few months I'm going to be gone. Things can get crazy. So uh, you can always go over to eMaker. That was eMaker? Hmm. Just go to reprap.org and you're going to find a list of vendors. You can always buy some kits from them. So that's all the questions I can get to today. But if you want to submit some questions, just shoot me a message through YouTube and I'll try to get to them and maybe I'll answer them on my channel. Thanks. See you later.